Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about that Angular directory and then ngRP directory. So there are very important factor we're going to discuss about that core Angular JS point of view. Today we are going to discuss about that Angular JS directory and then uh, you know Angular uh, JS uh, ngRP directory, all those details. So this is the day 23. Uh, in this day we'll talk about that um, little custom or uh, not the custom little um, angular js related stuff so let's get started so in our past video you can see that i have used that ng ng repeat so today we'll discuss those points definitely i'll repeat those points even and we'll talk uh, we disc we click uh, we use the ng click also we'll discuss or maybe we, i'll repeat the same point if you know already so you can skip those but these are the things we are uh, uh, we have the very important um, in our ang uh, service portal or angular js so let's first see that uh, what i am going to discuss so right now you can see i will just remove this all these details so i'm not going to discuss about that client uh, client side today so basically uh, in the my page i have created one array and this array have this uh, um, uh, value like like this one right so what we can do we can create so first we'll talk about that um, we can create a paragraph right and in this paragraph we can type uh, whatever uh, details we need like hi and then we can keep on uh, creating the paragraph and keep on adding that right like that we can keep uh, high one high two something like that keep on changing or keep on adding those details right so if we see that here it is uh, printing one two like that similarly we can print our array like that using the ng repeat we already use that in many places but i'm just repeating those details so we uh, we know that how we can use the ng repeat to use the ng repeat what we have to do we have to just type the ng repeat and ng repeat can help us what it can help it can repeat to a complete array right so we have an array this is the array and it can repeat through the whole array and it can bring one element at a time and then print one by one so let's say that i am i need to declare that x in then add a name so in our case the array name is the data record so i created this variable called data dot record this data record i need to be looped through so i can put that x in data record so what will be happen each time so when it will be repeat it will get this one and then that that value will be stored into the x Similarly here, it will go to the next index and it will store that value into the X like that. So right now you can see it is going to loop through and then uh, I can print that X. So because X right now have this whole data of that index. So zero index have a X data, which is Alex. And then next index, it have a Felix, something like that. So we can do the ng repeat and using the ng repeat, we can repeat multiple uh, value from a array. So let's repeat that. Uh, let's refresh that and you can see Alex, Felix, John, Sam, G, everything is printing by from this array. I just turned off these two input and right now here. <clears throat> right. So this way it can be uh, used here. Right. So next directive we'll talk about that. Uh, we talk about the NGDP. Now we'll talk about the NGEV. What is the NGEV? ng if is used to validate something right so we can validate that it is the particular data or not and based on that i can print that okay so what means that i can validate that let's say that here i can print that ng if okay if x not equal to then i can define some value so let's say that um I don't want to print the John. So if the value, I don't know that what value will become, but if the value will be came up for the John, it should not print that. What will be happen? Let's save that and uh, run that. What will be happen? You can see it's print the Alex Felix, but John, it did not print the John because it did not validate, it validate that and it did not pass and it did not print here. So this way we can use the ng if. Now we have a options called ng show and ng hide okay so what is means by ng if ng show and ng hide i'll i'll do a here and i'll show you that so this is the ng if and then here i'll put that ng show okay
okay and then here i'll put that ng uh height like that so there are three component ng if ng show ng height so this point we are going to discuss so like say the ng if this is the ng if and this is the ng uh show and this is the ng height okay let's save and understand correctly one by one so ng if we understand that it validate that and if it is satisfied it print otherwise it did not so let's refresh here <clears throat> so ng if in that case it did not print uh, our john because john did not validate now ng so ng so also work as expected it show that uh, alex felix sam j but it did not show that john because it, it did not satisfy but in ng height it is you can see that only john is showing right because see ng show and ng height work vice versa okay so you, you can you can define that for if the condition is satisfied you want to show if the condition is satisfied you want to hide so this is the how the difference is ng show works if the condition satisfied then show the detail so so the condition satisfied for all the element except uh, uh you know john and that's the reason all the element is showing and here ng height is all the elements satisfied but uh you know john i mean for john it is satisfied and that's the reason um john name is printing others element are high so ng show and ng height is uh vice versa but ng show and ng if is the same but there is a little difference what will be happen i'll go and inspect element and I'll simply inspect to this ng if and see what I mean show you that. So you can see in ng if it is keep repeating all these elements, right? Alex, then Felix, and then here you can see John 1, it did not print. It means that this line is, seems to be commented out. You can see for John, it seems to be commented out. It means that this element itself is missing. These elements are live element and this for John, this element itself is missing right but if i go for ng show you can see john element is available you can see john i know is this john which is not visible at that moment felix visible but john is not visible but john element is available but it is not printing okay so basically the difference is that ng will be removed completely that attribute html attribute ng uh, show and ng height will be element will be visible element will be there but it won't be visible so that's a, a slight difference between ng if and ng show so we discuss about ng if we discuss about ng repeat we discuss about ng show ng height now we discuss about ng click also earlier so ng click is used to uh, whenever you want to call any particular function in our client side with that time we can use the ng click we use that ng click and here we can define the function name and from the function we can call to the client side so you already discussed that ng click now ng src what is the ng src ng src is used to like like whenever you want to print the image we use the image and then like that right and print print that ng then we can put uh, i mean we can print that img and then here we can put the src and then you can define that it's as name right Similarly, instead of SRC, you can put the ng dash SRC and then here also you can put that uh, image path. So this is the uh, path. Now we'll talk about the ng model. What is the ng model? ng model is nothing but we can, you know, define any variable as a ng model. In this case, our, if you remember that in this uh, input box, we define that ng model and then under this model, we can define a variable so that whenever the value will be changes for this particular text or you can here you can define this user id i'll show you that okay so let's say i define that input box input uh, input box uh, variable ng model equal to user type now what will be happen whenever this variables value will be changes to this input box like whenever i am printing that the ng model variable will be continuously update their cell so ng model is nothing but whenever you add any particular um, attribute on a particular attribute like input or uh, input box or any any type of input given box 
it will continuously take input from that and it will continuously update their variables okay that is used for the ng model now what is used for ng bind ng bind is used is nothing but the way we are binding here we can also use the same thing here okay i'll show you quickly so here right now we are binding called curly braces x x right so similarly we can directly bind to that director okay what will be happen so right now you can see uh, we are binding that ng show and here we are binding alex felix how we are binding we are printing that i mean curly braces instead of that we can put that ng dot bind and then under this bind we can put that x and then we can remove this one okay in this case i mean and in angular we can bind two way okay this is the one curly braces way and another is the ng bind method now let's refresh that and you can see for ng show also it is sh right now showing that all this value how to use the ng bind method so either you use the curly braces method or you can use the ng bind method i am going to uh, i'll remove all these stops and then here i'll create a paragraph okay and in this paragraph uh, i am going to bind that text one okay text one and here what i'll do i'll uh, define that scope dot uh, text one equal to what i'm going to say that i'm putting some um, high and then here i'm putting some bold and say hello and then i'm ending this bold and say um, like this and then closing the paragraph so this is a html content right now what will be happen if i am printing or i am uh, binding this html content here what will be happen let's save let's save and see that so if i bind this uh, html content here it will simply bind that whatever data or whatever way i am binding here right so it is simply bind that data now if we use instead of this one i can use that ng bind html and here we can say that text one and i can remove this one what will be happen now this complete text will be binded in a html format let's see instead of this p all these stops if we refresh that you can see it will be bind as a html content okay so the only difference between html uh, ng html bind or you can see right now i'm binding again in the normal way so only the difference is that ng bind will be bind all this uh, data or whatever text it is but ng bind html will bind as a html format okay so we can if we use the ng bind html it will be um uh, show as a format okay so you can see that it is binding as a html format now uh, we have a option called ng init uh, so what is the ng init we'll talk about that so ng init nothing but we can define any variable and that variable value we can use that it's very limited use you don't need to worry about that one now few things i am going to uh, discuss here so let me remove all these stuffs we'll talk about this ng repeat uh, additional parameter what is this ng repeat additional parameter okay so let's first see that uh, uh, i'll go back here and then this is the data i am printing here right so i'll uh, copy this one and here i'll say that this is the data i'm binding right so let's say that i'm going to bind this in a paragraph first i'll do a p and here i'll bind using the ng repeat ng repeat x in this one and then here i'm printing the x so this is how i'm binding right now now we'll talk about that index okay so ng repeat index what is index and how we can use that so let's first i'll print that uh, along with that i'll say that index and then we have a uh, uh, method so curly bracket we can say that dollar index what will be happen so this is an array right so it can help or it can also show you the index so let's refresh that and it can show that index so you can see 
each time it is showing that index so this is the alex which is uh, array index 0 this is the felix which is array index 1 this is the john this is sam this is j this way we can print their index okay and this index help us to identify that in which area this value is right now so let's say in your case if you want to hide that um, the last index how we can do that so simply you can define here ng if and then here we can define that dollar index okay um so let's say that equal to equal to or uh, not equal to so let's say that i'm i know that this this will be that uh, five elements so i can say that if the index equal to equal to four then don't show that so if except index four print all this element you can define that now if we refresh that what will be happen let's see it will simply remove that last index one okay so you can define particular index say let's say that i want i don't want to print the index two except all i should want to print so index two is john so you can define that ng by based on the index okay that is the one way secondly we have options called that uh, index we talk right now we can do that even odd one also so let's say that i just want to uh, uh, uh i just want to show only even index so i'll say that even ng dot even all the even index will be print or available or even i mean we can do that one so let's refresh that you can see all the even index are printing uh, odd index are not printing okay so this way you can print the odd or even similarly for odd we can define that all the odd let's say that let me uh, let's print all the odd index you can define that odd or even i'll refresh that and you can see all these odd index are printing even index are not printing so we have a method called index we have a method called even we have a method called or now we have a options called first last and middle so i can say that if it is first element don't print that so for that what i'll do don't print the first element i define that so not first so if it is first don't print that so if we refresh that you can see alex will not be print so right now you can see the alex in index is not printing apart from alex all these element are printing similarly if we want we don't want to print the last index we can define that don't last so instead of that um like four or specific index you can define that dollar last in that case the last index will not be printed okay similarly we have a middle so if we want to um, if, use any cases you can define that middle so let's say that don't print the middle index okay so let's say if we refresh that you can see the middle index are not available okay so this way we can uh, you know do uh, a lot of stuff um, the indexing stops and you can do um, or you can exclude by ng if or any other we can use any other cases let's say i want to print that index so you can definitely approve the dollar dot dollar index so in case you want to print that you can print that now let's say that you want to uh, print the page number also you can print that okay so if i refresh right now you can see i just remove all this case right now it is showing all this index right so 0 1 2 3 4 but i, I if i want to pay print the page it should not be start with the 0 right so for that what i'll do plus 1 so what will be happen index plus 1 it will be always start with 1 2 3 4 5 like that so let's refresh that and you can see one two three four five so we have options also calculate mathematical calculation you can do that so we are able to do mathematic calculation also by the help of this one so that's it for today uh, if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day